Plato is an incorporated village in northwest Texas County, Missouri, located on Highway 32 about 20 miles northwest of Houston and 10 miles south of Fort Leonard Wood. The community was founded in 1874 and is named after the famous ancient Greek philosopher. Based on data compiled by the United States Census Bureau in its 2010 census, a point 2.7 miles northeast of Plato has recently been designated as the mean center of population in the United States. America's mean population center represents the point at which an imaginary, flat, weightless, and rigid map of the U.S. would balance perfectly if weights of identical value were placed on it so that each one represented the location of a person counted on the date of the census. The current point is located about 23 and a half miles southwest of the nation's previous population center, a spot about 2.8 miles east of Edgar Springs in Phelps County. The Census Bureau tabulates population totals every 10 years. After last year's count, the population of the United States was determined to be 308,745,538 and Missouri's population was 5,988,927. The current population of Plato is 109. Um, the kids think it's just the neatest thing that um, Plato is now on the map and the uh, kids that, pay, that play sports are saying, well now people will know where we are. Um, so in that way, it's been uh, very nice. Um, any future effects? I really don't see people moving here just because uh, we're now the center. I think it's great that they're that they've decided to do this here. Also, that um, in the long run, I'm hoping that it will bring business into the area. It's, it's made a big difference in the people here. They're excited about it. They're just, you know, excited and smiling and talking. And, yeah, it's, it's awesome to see the, pe the response of the people and how accepted they are. It's awesome. Well, I think some place has to be the center of the United States, and uh, it might as well be, be Plato. I don't really think we have any impact on Plato, uh, other than the fact that there'd probably be a lot of news people driving us crazy all the time, uh, and coming down taking pictures and whatever, but uh, I think life will go on as normal in Plato. It's a small community, and a close-knit community, and run and operated by a lot of volunteers, and I think it'll be the same. Plato is a country. It's a, it's a, a country, out in the country, you live out in the country, that's Plato. It's right. being out in the country. So I can't pic picture it being overpopulated or too many people, you know, wanting to live here. You know, you have to really like the country. You know, we have dairy farms, we have lumber, you know, people that uh, cut wood. You know, we have a lot of retirees from the military that retire here, but that's why they want to retire because it's not overpopulated. It's, you know, it's being out in the country, so. <laughs> it's the biggest thing that's happened around here in quite a quite a time, you know. And uh, it'll bring in a lot of tourists. Already have. Uh, I, I'm just proud to live here in Plato. It's a pretty good place. Okay, I think that it's pretty neat that Plato is the center of the population because it's a small town and a lot of people think that there's not a lot that goes on here, so I think it really um, creates an interest in the town. And I think that it could have an effect on things. I think it, there, it'll bring in more people and uh, uh, make people more interested in Plato as a whole. It's, uh, it's exciting for this area. Um, and I'm not sure that it will have uh, uh, a great effect. Um, uh, of course, uh, it is getting a lot of uh, uh, notoriety right now, but uh, 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 I wish uh, more people would uh, choose this area to, uh, to live in. And I, I would hope that uh, maybe uh, uh, that would uh, help, but uh, I'm not 
chair. 